huge stock market crash that is going insane. We are down over two weeks in a row, hitting the support, hitting resistance. We got all new levels for y'all. As you guys can tell, the stock market is literally crashing as I've been calling. But guess what? I think the market can crash more. I do have a big target down here on the SP 500 all the way down to 400. And guess what? If the S&P 500 is going to be crashing, all your other favorite stocks are going to be crashing. So you got to be knowing what the SP 500 is going to be doing every day every week where do you expect to go to help you out in your trading journey okay so smash the like button subscribe if you're new we're going to go over the sp 500 we're going to go over the stock market crash we're going to go over how to know if we're going to start retracing up right something like this over here which is expected or are we just going to be continue crashing and not even have that upward trace movement right so there's going to be two different ways that we can look to play this. We're also going to talk about SQQQ, right? This is moving the opposite of the SP500. So if I feel like the SP500 is going to be crashing, I feel like this one's going to be going up. And we did buy it down here, which is why I tell you guys, make sure you join that team because you get everything I buy and sell. Until October 31st, your uh, Halloween code is 20 off. You get 20% off the whole website of Elite. Elite year, you say like $200. Lifetime membership, you say like $400. That also comes with personal training, so you only pay once. And then if you want personal training by itself, you say like $200. So make sure you use that code. Email me, willknowledge77gmail.com to join anything if the code's not working and so forth. That's your Halloween sale to October 31st. Now, SP500. Remember I gave you guys a resistance level, okay? Resistance level at 440. 41450 and support at 411. What did resistance hit on Friday? Look at this perfect hit. This was Friday's movement. The resistance hit here once, hit it again, twice, brought the market down, brought the market down. This is why I give you these levels to kind of help you guide you in the market. Again, none of this financial advice, that all this for educational purposes only. Don't trade anything you see or hear in the video. Just letting you guys know what I'm doing, what I'm looking at. But look at this perfect hit of resistance on Friday. It did not want to break that area. Perfect. This is why I say, make sure you guys get this video over 100 likes. Once you guys get this video over 100 likes, I'll post the next video for you guys, maybe tomorrow or maybe today, depending on how fast you guys get the likes up. I'll post levels, all levels on all other stocks. So any of the stocks you guys want me to go over, make sure you comment them as fast as possible. And then I could probably put them in the next video once you guys get this video over 100 likes. But Resistance level hit, resistance level hit, all right? So resistance level hit perfect, and then guess what happened? It fell, broke the support here, and then it actually tested the support as resistance, resistance, and never wanted to come back above that support. So I am considering that support has been broken, right? And you see how this resistance level, it tells you if price wants to go back up higher. So if you see price not breaking these resistance levels on Friday, that should let you know, like, price probably doesn't want to go higher, we got that resistance level from Will Knowledge. Make sure you guys are sharing the videos out and liking the videos. We got that resistance level from Real Knowledge. If it's not breaking, it probably doesn't want to go up, which it did not, right? Now, as you guys know, I have that target level down here at $400. That's where I believe SPY is going to go. So we still got way more downside to be going to. But I want to update the support. So new support is about $410. we are going to move it down about a dollar. So $410 is your new support for the SP500. Now, I believe that's going to break. But the key thing is, if this starts to break, we're going to have more down days, right? It's just going to continue pushing down, 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 down. That means all your other favorite stocks are probably going to be going down with it. But we have a new resistance level, okay? New resistance level, I'm going to put around 412.50. So I want to move it down. I want to keep that 50 point on there, but I want to move it down about $2. So it's probably going to move it up and down in about $2 increments, right? So this is what we want to look at. So if this 412 level breaks, which is a new resistance on the SP500, right? So we're around 410-ish. So if we come up, break this level, I feel like that's going to be the sign that we're going to have a little higher retracement, kind of like we did here. Oh, hold on. Kind of like we did here, right? This higher retracement here, overall still bearish, but that's what we could start to see if that resistance level breaks right around 412.50, right? So that'll kind of give you the signs. If that starts to break... I'll probably be looking for like shorter term call options for SPY to go up to like 416, 418, but overall still bearish because I believe it's going to have that bigger crash down and then start going down to lower markets and lower prices like it did here. Remember, I told you guys, this is probably a fake out. We're going to be getting a bigger crash and that's exactly what we got. I've been warning you about this for over three weeks. So this down movement right here should not be surprising you. I've been telling you about it for three weeks from now. 
Make sure you guys don't forget to use that Halloween code, 20 off. It's with three Fs. You get 20% off everything on the website. You can save $400 on Lifetime, $200 on Elite Year, about $20 on the monthly, $200 on personal training. It's a very big sale, okay? So make sure you guys use that code or email me if the code doesn't work. The email is right here, willknowledge77 at gmail.com. Make sure it's the right email. Now, let's go back. So, uh, let me make this bigger. There you go. Okay, so we have our levels, right? These are all our new levels. Support, resistance, target level, right? Still bearish. But like this resistance level, if it breaks, we're looking for a little deeper retracement higher. Be prepared for that. I'm looking to get bigger puts in here, looking to get shorter term calls. But if we don't break that resistance level, like it comes to the price level like this, like say it comes up there like this, starts showing resistance and starts breaking down, that's probably going to sense we're going to break this support and we're going to be going down more. So I'll be looking for bigger put options and so forth, right? So those are your main levels. Notice how there's only three levels I'm watching to let me know everything that I need to know for the SP500. They say levels don't work. You clearly see levels do. So just make sure you follow along. Perfect guidance. Again, another financial advice. And then we'll kind of see what happens on Monday. I'll update you guys on Monday as well. Just make sure you guys get this video over 100 likes as fast as possible. Then I'll post the next video for you guys on all the levels and all the stocks that you guys want. So don't forget to comment them down below so I can check them out. So these are levels I'm watching. Looking for a bigger crash. I think SP500 is going down to about um, 400. Now, that takes us to SQQ real quick. Remember, I already have shares of SQQ. We're already up like 21% or 20% on SQQ shares already. Hold up, I can check for you, right? The market's closed right now, so it'll show the percentage. We're already up. So we sold about half of our SQQ shares. We're up about 18% on our SQQ shares, okay? We were up about 20, and then we sold some. So I have about 50% left on my SQQ shares. I have a target of $25. We're already up about 18%. But I am looking to buy more. I want SQQ to break below $22, right? So I want to see some downward movement if that downward movement does come where we are now. I want to see a little retracement and then I want to get in to buy more shares, right? Right around that $22 area. Kind of like how it went up here and it had like this retracement here and then it went up. That's where you can reload up. That's where I'm looking to load back up to get about that $25 target. So I'm looking to put that other half back in that we already sold. We're already up a lot and I'm looking for another 13% gain on top of the 20% gain and 18% gains we already got, right? Because this is going to move the opposite of the S&P 500. Very simple. So thank you guys for watching the video. Follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Please make sure it's the right one. Let's run the followers up, share it, like it, do all that good stuff. And make sure you guys use that code 20 off to get 20% off the whole website. Make sure um, you put the code in whenever you're looking to check out. Also, Afterpay is available for lifetime and elite year. So Afterpay, you just pay, I think, like four monthlies. You'll pay low. And then elite year, you probably pay like $100 a month to sign up. So just make sure you join. Email me, willknowledge77 at gmail.com if something isn't working. And always remember, no recommendation about ourselves anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.